Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you how to set up QEMU with KVM on your Windows PC. We'll go through the entire installation, configure KVM for hardware acceleration, and I'll even show you how to create a virtual machine using QEMU. This guide will make it easy to get started with virtualization right on your Windows machine. So, what is QEMU and why KVM? Well, QEMU is a powerful open source emulator that, when paired with KVM, allows you to run virtual machines with near native performance. To get most out of QEMU, hardware acceleration is the key. And on Windows, we can achieve this by setting up Hyper-V or WSL2. First, head over to the Windows Features page. Here, make sure to check the boxes for Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL. Once you have done that, go ahead and restart your PC for these changes to take effect. After restart, now it's time to set up our Linux environment, which we'll be using to install QEMU and KVM. Open PowerShell as an administrator. To install a Linux environment, type this command. After installation, you will be asked to set up a username and password. Then, set the default WSL version to WSL2 for compatibility. We need to update the package list in our Linux environment. Now we are ready to install QEMU and KVM. In the WSL terminal, type this command to install both packages. Once installation is complete, we'll add our user to the KVM group so we can access hardware acceleration. Just run this command to add yourself to the group. After adding yourself to the KVM group, restart WSL to ensure the changes take effect. Reopen the WSL terminal and type groups to check if your username appears in the KVM group. If you see it listed, you are good to go. With QEMU and KVM set up, let's test everything by creating a virtual machine. To show you, I am going to create a Ubuntu virtual machine. Head over to the Ubuntu website and download the latest Ubuntu ISO file. We'll use this as the installation media for our virtual machine. Next, we need to create a virtual disk for the Ubuntu installation. In your WSL terminal, run this command to create a 30 GB disk file. The disk file will act as a virtual hard drive for your Ubuntu VM. Now we are ready to start up QEMU and install Ubuntu. Here's the command you'll need. This command enables KVM for hardware acceleration, the Vert IO GPU driver for display, and allocates 8 GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores to the virtual machine. Feel free to adjust these settings based on your host machine specifications.
Here, you need to enter the actual path to your Ubuntu ISO file. Make sure to use the WSL compatible path format. Once you have entered the command, QEMU will start the Ubuntu installer. From here, just follow the installation steps just like you would on any computer. Once the installation is completed, Ubuntu will ask you to remove the installation media and restart. Let's see how to do that. First, close the QEMU window. You need to run same command without the CD-ROM part, so it boots directly from the virtual hard drive. Now, QEMU will directly boot into the installed Ubuntu system. And that's it, you have successfully set up QEMU with KVM on your Windows PC and we have created a virtual machine using Ubuntu ISO. QEMU with KVM is a fantastic way to experience virtualization on a Windows machine. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.